Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the Talking About Where You Live PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to say where you live, how close or far your place is, and master over 20 words and phrases inside. Two, struggling to remember the words you learn? This one minute lesson reveals all the easiest ways to improve your memory and boost your vocabulary. Third, the top 10 sentence patterns for beginners. If you struggle making your own sentences, you'll need this. This free lesson teaches you the most common grammar patterns and how to use them. Fourth, the top 15 phrases for bad students for the new school semester. You'll learn to say phrases like fail a class, procrastinate, and much more. Fifth, the 50 adjectives to describe your personality PDF workbook. This workbook teaches you the 50 must-know adjectives for personalities, so you can talk about yourself in your target language. And sixth, want an app that teaches you the language through conversations? Download Innovative Language Learning for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll unlock bite-sized lessons that teach you practical conversations and get you speaking in minutes. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everybody, my name is Risa. Welcome to the 2000 Core Japanese Words and Phrases video series. Each lesson will help you learn new words, practice and review what you've learned. Okay, let's get started. First is... Nimotsu Luggage Nimotsu Nimotsu Luggage 荷物を持って旅行する Travel with luggage 荷物を持って旅行する 包帯 Bandage 包帯 包帯 Bandage 包帯で巻く Wrap with bandage. Hotai de maku. Kanja. Patient. Kanja. Kanja. Patient. Kanja no care. Patient care. Kanja no care. Busho. Department. Busho. Busho. Department. Busho wa dochira desu ka? What department do you belong to? Busho wa dochira desu ka? Kaikeishi Accountant Kaikeishi Kaikeishi Accountant Watashi no Kaikeishi My Accountant Watashi no Kaikeishi Bengoshi Lawyer 弁護士 弁護士 ロイヤー 会社の弁護士 company lawyer 会社の弁護士 賃金 wage 賃金 賃金 wage 暮らしていけるだけの賃金 livable wage 暮らしていけるだけの賃金 ピアノ 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 Piano Piano no lesson 
piano lessons. Piano no lesson. Flight number. Flight number. Flight number. Flight number. Flight number. Flight number 345. Flight number 345. Flight number 345. 農業 Agriculture. 農業農業 Agriculture. 農業はすべての国で重要な産業だ。Agriculture is an important industry in every country. 農業はすべての国で重要な産業だ。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. First, you will hear a word or phrase in English. Respond in Japanese, then repeat after me. Focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say luggage? Nimots. Nimots. And how to say bandage? Hotai. Hotai. What about patient? Kanja. Kanja. Do you remember how to say department? Busho. Busho. Let's try accountant. Kaikeishi. Kaikeishi. What about lawyer? Bengoshi. Bengoshi. Now, let's see if you remember how to say wage. Chingin. Chingin. Another one. What about piano? Piano. Piano. Do you remember how to say flight number? Flight number. Flight number. And finally, do you remember how to say agriculture? No, yo. No, yo. Well done. See you next time. Mata ne. Hi, everybody. My name is Lisa. Welcome to the 2000 Core Japanese Words and Phrases video series. Each lesson will help you learn new words, practice, and review what you've learned. Okay, let's get started. First is. Kansen. Infection. Kansen. Kansen. Infection. Kifu kansen. Skin infection. Kifu kansen. Influenza. Flu. Influenza. Influenza. Flu. Influenza no kisets. Flu season. Influenza no kisets. Trumpet. 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 Trumpet no lesson. Trumpet lessons. Trumpet no lesson. 出発ゲート
departure gate 出発ゲート出発ゲート departure gate 出発ゲート43 departure gate 43出発ゲート43社会学、ソシオロジー。社会学、社会学、ソシオロジー。都市社会学、アーバンソシオロジー。都市社会学、客室乗務員、フライトアテンダント。客室乗務員。客室乗務員。フライトアテンダント。女性の客室乗務員。フィーメルフライトアテンダント。女性の客室乗務員。座席。シート。座席。座席。シート。飛行機の座席。エアプレインシート。飛行機の座席。医学。メディスン。医学。医学。メディスン。彼は大学で医学を学びました。He studied medicine at university. 彼は大学で医学を学びました。エコノミークラス。エコノミークラス。エコノミークラス。エコノミークラス。エコノミークラス。エコノミークラス登場券。エコノミークラスチケット。エコノミークラス登場券。フライト。フライト。フライト。フライト。フライト。そのフライトは1時間以内に出発します。The flight will leave in one hour. そのフライトは1時間以内に出発します。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. First, you will hear a word or phrase in English. Respond in Japanese, then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say infection? 感染感染 and how to say flu インフルエンザインフルエンザ What about trumpet? トランペットトランペット Do you remember how to say departure gate? 出発ゲート。出発ゲート。Let's try sociology. 社会学。社会学。What about flight attendant? 客室乗務員。客室乗務員。Now, Let's see if you remember how to say seat. Zaseki. Zaseki. Another one. What about medicine? Igak. Igak. Do you remember how to say economy class? 
エコノミークラスエコノミークラス And finally, do you remember how to say flight? フライトフライト Well done! See you next time! またね Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary. Followed by the English translations. And finally, you will review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Smimasen, Tonarini Sunday, Smith, this is a Smith, son, Domo. I know, Chotto, Negai Garden, this is a Nanda Shoka. Utini, a Chisai Kodomoga, I must know the Dekireba. 夜の10時以降はもう少し静かにしてもらえると助かりますあ、わかりましたご迷惑をおかけして申し訳ありませんでした Now you'll hear the key vocabulary followed by the English translation 以降 Sense from onward after 静か Quiet, peaceful. できれば If possible. ちょっと A bit, a little. 迷惑 Trouble, bother, annoyance. To be saved, to be helpful. Uchi. House, home. Tonari. Next to, next door to. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. すみません。隣に住んでいるスミスですが。スミスさん、どうも。あの、ちょっとお願いがあるんですが。あ、なんでしょうか。うちには小さい子供がいますので、できれば夜の十時以降はもう少し静かにしてもらえると助かります。あ、わかりました。ご迷惑をおかけして申し訳ありませんでした。This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to another whiteboard lesson. In this lesson, you'll learn how to talk about hobbies in Japanese. Okay, let's get started. First, let's look at the vocabulary. Okay, let's take a look at the vocabulary for this lesson. First, we have camp. Camp. This means camping. Camp. The next word is Diori, diori. This means cooking. Diori, cooking. The next word is eiga, eiga. This means watching movies or just movies. In this case, we're going to use it to mean watching movies. Eiga. Next is tsuri, 
Tsuri. This means fishing. Tsuri. Fishing. Tsuri. The next word is ryoko. Ryoko. This means traveling. Ryoko. And finally, we have game. Game. This means playing games or video games. Game. When you're choosing which word to use from these, a quick thing to remember is these u sounds, these long u sounds that we have in ryori and ryoko. Don't forget to pronounce this u here and this u here. So not just ryori or ryoko, but ryori and ryoko. So don't forget that point. Okay, let's take a look now at a sample dialogue. Okay, let's look at the dialogue. When I read, I want you to pay attention to the word for hobby. You can find what the word for hobby is and see how it's used in this dialogue. First, we have this person who says, Shumi wa nan desu ka? Shumi wa nan desu ka? And the response is, Shumi wa kyampu desu. Shumi wa kyampu desu. So, the first question here is, what's your hobby? What's your hobby? Shumi wa nan desu ka? So, hobby is shumi. Shumi. Shumi wa nan desu ka? And the response is, shumi wa kyampu desu. My hobby is camping. Shumi wa kyampu desu. Let's take a look at a few more example sentences that follow this pattern. Okay, let's take a look at a few more example sentences. First one is, shumi wa ryori desu. Shumi wa ryori desu, which means my hobby is cooking. Shumi wa ryori desu. The next example sentence is, shumi wa eiga desu. Shumi wa eiga desu, which means my hobby is watching movies. Shumi wa eiga desu. Finally, we have, shumi wa geimu desu. Shumi wa geimu desu. Which means, my hobby is playing games. Shumi wa game desu. Now, let's take a look at a basic pattern you can use to create sentences like these. Okay, let's take a look at a basic pattern that you can use to make your own sentences about your hobbies. It begins with, shumi wa, so hobby. Shumi wa, hobby desu. Shumi wa, Hobby, this. So here in this red part, you need to choose a hobby word. One of the words here or another word that you know related to your hobby. So this creates the sentence, my hobby is hobby. My hobby is hobby, your hobby. So shumi wa hobby this. Let's talk about a cultural point now. In Japanese, a subject is often omitted when it's clear from the context. In the dialogue, the first line is shumi wa nan desu ka? So we know from that line that they're talking about hobbies. The second line can then just be kyampu desu, with the subject shumi being inferred. Do you remember how to say hobby? Shumi. Shumi. And how to say camping? Camp. Camp. Do you remember how to say, my hobby is camping? Shumi wa camp desu. Shumi wa camp desu. And how to say movie as in watching movies? Eiga. Eiga. Do you remember how to say travel as in traveling? Ryoko. Ryoko. And how to say game as in playing games? Game. Game. Do you remember how to say fishing? Tsuri. Tsuri. And how to say 
クッキング料理料理 In this lesson, you learned how to talk about hobbies in Japanese. Thanks for watching. I'm Alicia, and I'll see you on JapanesePod101.com. So, じゃあまたね Hi, everybody. I'm Alicia. Minasan, konnichiwa. Alicia desu. In this lesson, we're going to talk about asking for clarification in Japanese. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by looking at the vocabulary for this lesson. The first word is もう一度もう一度もう一度もう一度which means again もう一度 again. In today's lesson, we'll understand this to mean say that again もう一度 Okay, the next word is ゆっくりゆっくりゆっくり Notice this small つ here. This means we need to make a stop before the ku sound. So not yukuri, but yukuri, yukuri. This means slowly, slowly, yukuri. In today's lesson, we'll understand this to mean say that slowly, yukuri, yukuri. Okay, the next vocabulary is oki na koe de, oki na koe de, oki na koe de, which means in a loud voice. In a loud voice. Okina koe de. To break this down, we have the word for big or large here. Oki. Okina. And then koe, which means voice, and de, which marks the manner in which we do something. So this literally translates to in a big voice, but in natural English, this means in a loud voice. So okina koe de means in a loud voice. In today's lesson, we'll understand this as say that in a loud voice. Oki na koe de. Okay, the last one is eigo de, eigo de, eigo de, eigo de, which means in English. In English, eigo de. So in this lesson, eigo de will understand as meaning say that in English. Eigo de. Okay. So, with these vocabulary words in mind, let's take a look at some dialogue sentences. Okay, let's take a look at the dialogue for this lesson. First, we start with this sentence. Hajime maste. Hajime maste. Ishikawa desu. Ishikawa desu. Hajime maste. Ishikawa desu. The response is, Sumimasen. もう一度お願いしますすみませんもう一度お願いします The response to this is 石川です石川です So what does this mean? The first sentence はじめまして means nice to meet you はじめまして nice to meet you We follow this with 石川です I'm 石川石川です Ishikawa is the person's name. We follow this with des to mean I am. Nice to meet you. I'm Ishikawa. The response to this is Sumimasen. I'm sorry or excuse me. Mo ichido onegai shimasu. Mo ichido onegai shimasu. Which means say that again, please. Say that again, please. Mo ichido onegai shimasu. So, like, I couldn't hear you. Can you say that again, please? And the response to that is Ishikawa des. Ishikawa desu. So Ishikawa san breaks down the name into syllables. Ishikawa desu. I'm Ishikawa. Okay, let's take a look at some more examples of this kind of pattern. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at some examples of some other ways that you can ask for clarification. The first one is this. Sumimasen, yukkuri onegai shimasu. Sumimasen, yukkuri onegai shimasu. This means, I'm sorry, say that slowly, please. Sumimasen, yukkuri onegai shimasu. In this pattern, we have yukkuri, the word for slowly. So, slowly is just slowly, yes, but in this context, we understand that it means say that slowly because we're having a conversation, in this case, an introductory conversation. 
So although it's just slowly in a direct translation to English, we understand that it means say that slowly or repeat that slowly, please. Sumimasen. Yukkuri The next one is Sumimasen. Eigo de onegaishimasu. Sumimasen. Eigo de onegaishimasu. This means, I'm sorry, say that in English, please. Sumimasen. Eigo de onegaishimasu. In this pattern, we have eigo de, which means in English. Again, from context, we understand that eigo de in English means say that in English, please. So, sumimasen, eigo de onegaishimasu. Great. So, now that we have these examples in our mind as well, let's take a look at a basic sentence pattern you can use to ask for clarification yourself. Okay, great. Let's take a look at the basic sentence pattern for this lesson. We start with sumimasen, sumimasen. Then phrase, onegaishimasu. Sumimasen, phrase, onegaishimasu. Which means, I'm sorry, or excuse me, plus the phrase, and please. Sumimasen, phrase, onegaishimasu. So in this pattern, you can substitute one of the words that we practiced earlier, yukkuri, or moichido, or Eigo de onegaishimasu to ask for the kind of clarification you need. Let's review the vocabulary from this topic. Do you remember how to say, I'm sorry? Sumimasen. Sumimasen. And how to say, please? Do you remember how to say again as in say that again? And how to say I'm sorry, say that again, please? すみません。もう一度お願いします。すみません。もう一度お願いします。Do you remember how to say slowly? ゆっくり。ゆっくり。And how to say in a loud voice? Do you remember how to say in English? Great! In this lesson, you learned how to ask for clarification in Japanese. I'm Alicia, and I'll see you on JapanesePod101.com. Sorejia, mata ne! Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Minasan, konnichiwa, Alicia desu. Welcome to another whiteboard lesson. In this lesson, you'll learn how to discuss language abilities. Let's get started. Okay, next, let's take a look at the vocabulary words for this lesson. First is, eigo, eigo. We saw this in the dialogue. Eigo, eigo means English. Eigo. Next is, Fransugo, Fransugo, which means French. Fransugo, Fransugo, French. Next is Spaingo, Spaingo, which means Spanish. Spaingo, Spaingo, Spanish. Next is Deutschgo, Deutschgo, which means German. Deutschgo. Deutschgo, German. Next is Taigo. Taigo. Taigo, which means Thai. Next is Chugokugo. Chugokugo, which means Chinese. 
Chugokugo. Chugokugo, Chinese. Next is Kankokugo. Kankokugo. Kankokugo, which means Korean. Finally, we have Nihongo. Nihongo, which means Japanese. Nihongo. Nihongo, Japanese. You might notice that all of these words in this lesson end with go. This means language. It's another easy thing to remember for this lesson. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the dialogue for this lesson. First is, Sumimasen. Eigo o hanashimasu ka? Sumimasen. Eigo o hanashimasu ka? Which means, excuse me, do you speak English? And the response is, Hai, eigo o hanashimasu. Hai, eigo o hanashimasu. Which means, yes, I speak English. In this dialogue, you'll notice that the words in red correspond to the word for English. Okay, now let's take a look at some speaking examples. First is, Hai, Fransu go o hanashimasu. Hai, Fransu go o hanashimasu. This is the response from the dialogue. Hai, Fransu go o hanashimasu, which means, yes, I speak French. In this sentence, the red word here, the language word, is Fransu go, which means French. So, yes, I speak French. Let's look at the second example sentence. Hai, Nihongo o hanashimasu. Hai, Nihongo o hanashimasu. Yes, I speak Japanese. In this example, we've replaced the word in red, the language word, with Nihongo, Japanese. So, yes, I speak Japanese. Hai, Nihongo o hanashimasu. Okay, now let's take a look at the basic sentence pattern for this lesson. The sentence pattern is Hai, language. O hanashimasu. Hai, language o hanashimasu. Which means, yes, I speak language. In this pattern, simply replace the language part of the sentence pattern with the language of your choice to create, yes, I speak that language. Okay, here's a quick tip for this lesson. If you want to talk about a language that isn't on this vocabulary list, there's a really easy way that you can create the language name in Japanese. We do this by putting the country name plus go together. For example, when we write Fransu go to create French, we're putting Fransu, France, and go together. We see the same thing with something like Spain go, which is Spain and go together. This creates Spanish. So there are some situations where this rule doesn't quite work. For example, eigo doesn't refer to the country a, that doesn't exist, but it refers to English as a whole. However, in lots and lots of cases, if you don't know the specific word that you can use to talk about the language you want to describe, you can simply put the country name and go together. Do you remember how to say? English. Eigo. Eigo. And how to say speak. Hanashimasu. Hanashimasu. Do you remember how to say speak English? And how to say yes. Hi. Hi. Do you remember how to say yes, I speak English? はい、英語を話します。はい、英語を話します。And how to say French? フランス語 
フランス語。Do you remember how to say Spanish? スペイン語。スペイン語。And how to say German? ドイツ語。ドイツ語。Do you remember how to say Thai? タイ語。タイ語。And how to say Chinese? Do you remember how to say Korean? And how to say Japanese? Nihongo. Nihongo. Great. In this lesson, you learned how to discuss language abilities in Japanese. Thanks for watching. I'm Alicia, and I'll see you on JapanesePod101.com. So, did ya? Mata ne. Welcome to your 2000 Core Japanese Words and Phrases video series quiz. Each week, we release a video teaching you new vocabulary. The following week, You'll be given a quiz so you can test your progress. Click the link in the description. Let's learn and review the words for your test. But if you are ready, it's quiz time! ほうたい。患者部署会計士ロイヤー。Wage. Piano.
flight number. Agriculture. Great job on completing the quiz. If you didn't get 100%, don't worry. Just check out the previous video again to review the expressions we covered. But before you go, we have a free gift that you don't want to miss. Use it to expand your vocabulary. Click the link in the description below to download our Japanese ebook with the core 2000 words for daily life situations. Welcome to your 2000 Core Japanese Words and Phrases video series quiz. Each week, we'll release a video teaching you new vocabulary. The following week, you'll be given a quiz so you can test your progress. Click the link in the description. Let's learn and review the words for your test. But if you are ready, it's quiz time! Kansen Influenza トランペット <音声>出発ゲート社会学。Flight attendant。Seat. Medicine. Economy class. Flight. Great job on completing the quiz. If you didn't get 100%, don't worry. Just check out the previous video again to review the expressions we covered. But before you go, we have a free gift that you don't want to miss. Use it to expand your vocabulary. Click the link in the description below to download our Japanese ebook with the core 2000 words for daily life situations. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. 
where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to master 500 words with spaced repetition. If you want to speak more of the language, you'll need to know more words. But is there a best way to learn words, especially if you forget a lot of what you learn? Well, there is. Stick around. Today, you'll discover the problem of learning something just once, the power of spaced repetition learning, and how to learn words fast. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking About Where You Live PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to say where you live, how close or far your place is, and master over 20 words and phrases inside. And second, the 50 Adjectives to Describe Your Personality PDF Workbook. This bonus teaches you the 50 must-know adjectives for personalities, so you can talk about yourself in your target language. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. How to master 500 words with spaced repetition. Part one, the problem with learning something just once. If you're like most casual language learners and you're learning new words, chances are you'll look at them once or twice and never again, hoping that they'll stick. But if you want to boost your vocabulary and say, learn 500 words in a month or two, this is not the best way to do it. And it doesn't matter if it's 500 words, 50 words, or five words. If you learn five new words right now, and one day later I ask you what they were, you'll likely remember less than 50%, maybe one or two words. And in two days, you'll have forgotten them all. Why? That's because we naturally forget what we learn if we don't review. In fact, the rate of forgetting has been studied, documented, and graphed out by the late German psychologist Hermann Ebbinghaus, who came up with the forgetting curve, which shows the relationship between time and memory retention. So you can see just how fast you forget. It's a big drop if you don't review. Which brings us to reviewing and repetition. Reading a word or phrase once won't save it to your brain, but reviewing it from time to time will help because our brains are not like computers, but more like muscles. And this is where spaced repetition learning comes in. Part two, the power of spaced repetition learning. Spaced repetition learning simply means revisiting or coming back to review something over time. And the space between each review session gets longer and longer. So if you learned a word today, you can review it in two days, then in five days, then in seven days. That way, you review the word before you forget it. And as a result, you strengthen your memory and remember it better in the long run. But you may think, coming back to review in two, five, seven days, it's inconvenient and no normal person would remember to do that. And you're right, it's hard to do manually. Luckily, technology can do that for you, specifically spaced repetition flashcards, which you'll find in our system. Part three, how to learn with spaced repetition flashcards. These flashcards space words out based on how well you know them and test you at appropriate times so you don't forget the words. And the result is your progress skyrockets and you'll easily master 500 new words in a month or two. Now, how can you use the spaced repetition flashcards inside of our learning system? Find the flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. There, you should already have the 100 must-know words deck. That's the default deck, but you can always create others. Click on Study and Start Session to start learning. You'll get a flashcard with the word in the target language. Click on Show Answer to confirm the meaning and mark it as correct or incorrect. Based on your answer, the flashcards will start sorting the words for you. If you know a word and mark it as correct, you won't see it for another two days. But if you don't, you'll keep seeing it in that session until you get it right. So just continue reviewing the words and keep at it until the study session is done, which should only take a few minutes. Once you're done, come back tomorrow to review some more and try to drill every day because you tend to learn better when you review consistently. You can also review with three modes. One, recognition. You get the word in the target language and see if you know the meaning. 
Two, production. You get the meaning and see if you know it in the target language. And three, listening. You hear the pronunciation and see if you know the meaning. And you can create flashcard decks from words you learn in our lessons, the 2000 core word list, entries in your word bank, and the words and phrases in our free vocab list. Plus, there are suggested lists right below your decks to help you get started. The beauty of these flashcards is that all you have to do is put in the time until the words are stuck in your head. Don't worry about rushing or cramming. Just do a little each day, and the spaced repetition flashcards will do the rest. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to write a thousand words in five minutes a day, Daily Dose Diary. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You want to understand real life conversations in your target language, right? Well, what if you could immerse yourself in conversation, then listen to them as much as you want, like you would music, and start understanding and speaking more of your target language? Well, you can do all of this with the dialogue track. And in this video, you'll discover how the dialogue track, one, immerses you in the language, two, helps you memorize conversations easily, and three, gets you speaking more. But if you don't have access to our lessons in the dialogue track, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, what is the dialogue track? The dialogue track is a quick 10 to 30 second audio track with just the conversation of the lesson. Let's say you're doing a five minute lesson about ordering food at a restaurant. First, you hear a conversation. Then our teachers explain every grammar rule and translate every word. And by the end, you know what it all means. Now, if you want to re-listen to that conversation without retaking the whole lesson, that's where the dialogue track comes in. It gives you just the conversation without any translations. So you can re-listen to the conversation or download to review at a later time. Second, here's what makes the dialogue track so powerful. First, you remember the conversations easier. Just listen on repeat, like you would with a song, and the words, phrases, and grammar rules will stick better. And the more you come back to re-listen, the better it will all stick. Second, you improve your listening skills and can immerse yourself in the language. Imagine you've finished 20 lessons, and you downloaded 20 dialogue tracks to your phone. That's 20 conversations. Create a playlist and play those 20 tracks as you're going about your day. You'll immerse yourself in the language and quickly improve your listening skills. Third, you start to speak more of your target language. So if you have 10, 20, or 100 dialogue tracks like that, then you have 10, 20, or 100 conversations that you'll know inside out and that you can use in real life. And as a result, you end up speaking more of your target language. So if you want to start understanding conversations, take advantage of the dialogue tracks, which are available inside every one of our audio lessons. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to speak more of your target language? Well, here's a completely free way to boost your vocabulary so you can understand more, speak more, and increase your fluency. In this quick guide, you'll learn all about our free vocabulary lists, how you can unlock hundreds of vocabulary lists that we give only to our users, and how you can learn new words and phrases fast without having to memorize for hours. But first, if you don't yet have access to our free vocabulary lists, be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link down in the description to sign up right now. So, how do these free vocabulary lists increase your fluency? Here's how. First, you can boost your vocabulary and range of expression with hundreds of vocabulary lists spanning all the must-know topics. Just look for the vocabulary lists inside the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site, and there you'll find lists for all kinds of topics, such as introducing yourself, talking about weather, the most common conversational phrases, holidays like Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, and much more. Second, you can practice your listening skills. By hearing the words at both native speed and at the slower half speed. 
Just click on the speaker icon next to each word to hear it at normal speed, and click a second time to hear the word at half speed, and you'll easily start understanding the word anytime you hear it. Third, you can practice your speaking skills with the voice recorder, a premium feature inside the vocabulary lists. Just click on the microphone icon to record yourself saying the word or phrase. You can also listen to the native pronunciation and your own pronunciation side by side. That way you can instantly hear how close you are to the native speaker and how to improve. Fourth, you can easily review the words with the vocabulary slideshow tool. Just click the Play Slideshow button at the top and sit back and listen to the words. You can also play the slideshow on loop until all of the words and phrases are stuck in your brain. And fifth, if you want to master these words even faster, you can save them to your word bank or study them with the flashcards. Both are premium features. The word bank is your personal collection of key vocabulary, where you can also create principal vocabulary study sheets. And with flashcards, you can drill the words and retain them forever, thanks to our smart space repetition system. So if you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more of your target language, then get access to our free vocabulary lists. Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.